April and Wayne Show app is now available on Google Play for Android. And donate to help the ministry at aprilandwayneshow.com. People are sitting in church Sunday after Sunday, year after year, and still are not saved because they're listening and believing in ministers who are leading their souls to hell. Jesus explained in the scriptures that those ministers are not going to heaven and they're blocking you from going. It's like the blind leading the blind because the people love their pastors and their churches more than Jesus. Just because a pastor is behind the pulpit doesn't mean that he's preaching from the word of God because they will pervert the word of the living God for their own purpose. That's why the Bible says to try the spirits by the spirits, whether they be of God, because there are many false prophets who are gone into the world. Don't listen to preachers, I mean false prophets, who are motivators of prosperity, of self-empowerment, of health and wealth, and teachers of life skills because they say that they're giving you the principles to live by to improve your life. Like most popular preachers and TV ministers on TVN, like Joe Osteen, T.D. Jakes, and Rick Warren. Many ministers are following their teachings instead of the teachings of Jesus Christ because they want to have large churches and large amounts of money at the price of your soul. People need to wake up and realize that their teachings are doctrines of demons to contradict the Bible with half lies and half truths so Satan can get your soul. Their teachings come from the rudiments and wisdom of this world, which is foolishness with God, and is based on the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. God says, this is not of me, but of this world. And the Bible says that those type of ministers are of the world. Therefore, they speak of the world, and the world hears them. The world listens to them, the world believes them, and the world will follow them straight down to hell fire. God says, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. And they will cry aloud and spare not. Lift up that voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and their sins. Ministers are supposed to warn the sinners to save their souls from hell and warn the righteous not to sin so they won't end up in hell. If they don't, God is going to require their blood at their hands. Preachers of the day are afraid to warn their congregation about their sin and talk about hell because they're afraid that the members, the mothers of the church, the deacon board, the board members, and their money might leave. If a minister is not afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ, he would preach what Jesus preached consistently, not once a year, because God says to teach my word faithfully. They would preach it in season and out of season. They would preach the truth when they want to hear it and when they don't want to hear it until Jesus comes back. record this witness of mine of some things um, I've heard people say demons are not real they're a figment of your imagination and um, I know some people don't believe in demons or Satan and uh, I did not want to believe in demons for the longest time until I was confronted with the reality of it and what happened was uh, don't know if I want to get into the details, but basically some people were playing with the Ouija board. And I know for a fact, this is just as real as just you know that there are police officers or something. Um, they, they were playing this with this Ouija board, and uh, that's a, like a little board that people use to... Um, get like it has little letters of alphabet on it and they do like a, they close their eyes and they're they kind of like pray to demons it's pretty pretty scary what they're doing but so anyway they they do this seance thing and um uh what is it it's like um they do this and i, I was up on hanging out where i shouldn't have been hanging out and stuff and they were messing around with this 
on this hill. And uh, I was praying because I didn't want them to do it. And, uh, but I decided I didn't want to be around that, so I left. And uh, not sure if it was a mistake or not to leave, but that's exactly, that's what happened. When I left, I suspected that there was something that came with me that was in my car. Uh, I sensed that there was a um, uh, unclean spirit. I don't really want to give glory to demons or devils or anything like that, but just, just you know, in case you're wondering if they really are re real, they are. This is my witness, okay? And uh, so now that wasn't proof of anything to me at all. It could have been my crazy you know, imagination or something like that, right? You know, but I sent something was not right and I didn't want it to be there. And uh, I didn't want to think that way, but that's the way it was going on. And so I was kind of troubled about it. And I went home and there was a person that I know at home, my house, and two children. And uh, the two, when I walked in the door, I walked into the living room, and they were they were looking at me, sitting there looking at me. And I said, "Guess what just happened?" Before I even explained to them what was happening, before I even opened up my mouth, the two children that were there were upset and weren't happy about what was going on. And the the man that was with them was a Christian, and the kids were Christians too. And uh, he immediately started to pray before I even explained what was going on. In fact, I never did really explain what was going on. He told me we need to just drop the subject and move on and not discuss it anymore. And uh, so he told everybody, just don't tell anybody what happened. But... Um, I, you know, how in the world would it be that they would know there's some kind of a demonic thing going on and they had to pray, you know, to Jesus for this to go away and the kids would be disturbed by that. How would that possibly happen? When I just simply walk in the door, I'm not upset or anything. I'm just walking. I'm going, guess what just happened? And before I even get to explain it, they, they knew something was wrong. That is proof. I didn't see it. See, my, I didn't even personally see it, but they did. I wasn't saying, hey, there's something going on. There's a demon following me. I didn't even mention that. I just walked in the door, and they knew right away something was not right. They sensed that right away. And um, so, to me, that's proof of it. And there's other things that have happened um, also that were strange that I couldn't really say as proof, but there were things that... Um, that um, it's nothing really to brag about. It's just real. And it's just the Western mindset because of evolution, because of atheism and all that, people don't believe in evil spirits. And then even when they're Christians, they really don't believe that there's demons out there when there really is.